What's up, what's up everyone? I know I haven't been on YouTube for a very long time. I've been doing the little short videos and shit like that. But I haven't really done an actual video because my life right now for the past four months, five months, it's been hectic. Like downright hectic. Uh, I was working every day. Um, just every day. Every day I was working. And then I ended up going back to an old job and getting laid off and then going to another job and then ended up getting a call back, went back to my old job and then comes to find out uh, supposedly that company is going under. So now I got lawyers involved to get my paycheck and uh, you know, I just don't work for free. So it's been a hectic, 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 hectic couple months but uh, some people have been asking and still follows my videos and stuff uh, they've been asking about the Kia well I haven't really worked on the Kia for a while now so that's why I haven't really had any content content to put out and I didn't really have anything to talk about because I was depressed for one and for two you know I, I just wasn't myself so i'm back in the garage working on the kia as you can tell um i ended up ordering a gas tank for this thing a while back the gas tank i ordered is sitting there as you can tell it's a brand new gas tank um i ended up ordering this gas tank uh comes to find out it's not the correct size gas tank the width uh it's a 20 gallon uh, gas tank the width and everything's fine but the height is not um, the height is actually too tall so I called the company back and asked them I was like hey I think you guys sent me the wrong one I have a 2002 Kia Sportage four-wheel drive convertible um, or soft top and uh, and it's five speed and it has the two O in it. And they're like, okay, let me do some research. So they did some research and comes to find out you cannot buy the original gas tanks for these. So uh, the gas tank is an aftermarket gas tank. Everything hooks up fine. Everything sits in here fine. Everything bolts up fine. The only thing that happened was you have to cut the part of the floor out and raise the floor up so instead of going to a junkyard and trying to find one of these and trying to find a gas tank that someone has not took out of the vehicle because in the state of Ohio now when you go and scrap a vehicle you have to take the gas tank out of it so it would be a 50-50 chance if I ever went to a scrapyard and got the original gas tank. Now, like I said in my previous videos in the past, when I first started working on this thing, you can buy certain things for these 2002 Kias because they stopped making them. They're making newer Kia Sportages. But, so they moved on better and bigger things. So these older models... It's hard to find parts. Uh, the engine, you can find parts for the engine. You can find parts for the rear end. You can find, you know, your shocks, your springs, and all that. Because the underneath in the engine is actually a Mitsubishi engine. Sitting on a Mitsubishi frame. So. So what they pretty much did is when they built these things they took an s10 frame and i shit you not it if i put an s10 frame and this kia frame side by side the only thing it's different is it's been chopped in half and shortened up honestly but everything else pretty much looks like an s10 frame so uh besides that like your suspension all that stuff is actually off of a Mitsubishi Eclipse and stuff like that the engine uh, if I pop the hood the engine is actually a Mitsubishi engine 
Um, it's the 2.0, and uh, and I'm not joking. It's a Kia. It's a Kia Sportage. It's a Kia Sportage. There's the logo, or one of the logos. Here's a logo inside. It's a Kia Sportage. Uh, it's five speed. And then you got the shifter right there to put you in four high, four low. So when I was working on this, so when I got the gas tank, the gas tank, I tried to put it in all different ways. It would not hook up. So as you can tell right there is the gas, uh, the lines that goes into the gas tank and then the neck goes into the gas tank and then the gas tank sits. That's where you pop a cover off and then you put a, uh, put a, put your uh, fuel pump and all that stuff in. Well, right how this is made you run it back and then it's got to drop off and everything then you got the carpet and then you got the seats the seats well what i had to do to put this gas tank in that's the top where you get a hold of the fuel pump okay so you don't have to drop the gas tank well i had to cut part of the floor out and now i'm modifying the floor to raise the floor up so the floor has been cut out we are putting a frame around it to raise the floor up so that's what it looks like so from that section here over it's going to slope down and then the jack sits back here i'm pulling the jack out and we're going to mount it right there or i'm raising the floor up so that something can sit there to make it look like that's how the vehicle was made and then we're going to take this and we're going to weld a piece of sheet metal over it that way either tack weld it in or put hinges on it where you know you can open it and just store stuff down in and then seal it but uh someone did say something about a cooler so I might just fill this in and make like a storage unit for a cooler like uh, so when you go on trips or whatever you want to keep pop cold or whatnot throw it down put some ice in there throw it down in there and now you got a cooler but um, so it's pretty much like a built-in cooler and then it's got a drain plug in the one area so all what we have to do is pull that plug up and then you can drain the water out and there you go you got a uh, camping type slash on the road cooler it's made into this vehicle so uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the jack from here and we're gonna mount it where I'm gonna raise the floor up where I'm raising the floor up and then we're gonna make this into a cooler so I just have to buy some stuff to do that. But that's the update on the Kia. Once I get the gas tank put in, get everything hooked back up, I already had it in once. Actually, I had it in four different times. The last time I had it in, everything bolted up fine. Everything sits fine. So everything is ready to go back in once I get the floor where I need it to be. And then we can just stir the gas tank up. And then hopefully not next weekend but the following weekend i can go get tags for it go take this to the gas station put gas in it and start driving it around and then i'm going to order a top for right now we're going to order a top to put on this for right now and then um, uh, probably next summer or whatever we're going to do what i said close this in in the back and make like a pickup a short real short bed pickup out of it so that way we can haul stuff. But that's the update on the Kia Sportage. Um, if you like the video that I just did and you want me to come back stronger and better on YouTube, leave a comment in the comment box and uh, let me know. Um, let's, if, if you want, just leave a comment in the comment box telling me what you would like me to do on my videos because I'm going to start getting back into the videos. So um, I'm not going to upload every single day. I'm going to just upload every other day or whatnot because the shift I work now is, is night shift. So I don't have to go in 
early or anything like that. I don't get bounced around from ship to ship and all that stuff. I go straight in at 10 p.m. and get off at 7 a.m. So if you want more videos starting now, please leave a comment. Put it in the comment box saying yes or put a number one for yes you want to you want me to do more videos on stuff like this put a number two if you want me to do the videos like i did in the past where it's a little bit of everything so with that being said guys joker 1014s out i love you all thank you for sticking around and uh, i'm back talk to you all later Thank <clears throat> you.